Welcome. I want to thank you all for joining us this evening um, on our, our talk this week, um, Gearing on Time Management. And I'm so grateful to have Shelly Sheridan with us this evening. That's going to give us a better insight on how we can manage our time. But before we get started, I just, just want to let you know that we are recording. Um, I will. We were going to leave the questions um, until the end after we we um, were done, and and then what we're going to do is we're going to pause the recording, and uh, and start again with with handling some um, other questions that you may have. But in the meantime, I'm so grateful and so blessed to have our dear dear Shelley that's going to to lead us and guide us tonight as well. Oh, and please remember, um, no questions in the chat. Just hold your questions um, until the end. So thank you again, and welcome, Shelly. Thanks, Nada. Yeah, this is actually um, a favorite topic for me to cover, only because each time that I do it, it kind of reminds me to look at my time management and uh, see, if, see if I'm actually practicing what I'm talking about here. So... So far um, on these Tuesday night calls, we've done things about uh, our, the plan and social media with Laura May and ways to share with Nada and Heather um, and looking at the daily methods of operations and talking to people each day or two days and following up. But, but here's the thing, how do we fit this in our day? You know, there's so many things that, that are coming down as well, try this and try this. And it's like, oh, my gosh, I have to work and I or I'm going to the gym or I have family. And, and how do I fit it in our day? And so that's what we're, we're going to be talking about today, just in terms of looking at different ways to do the time management. So not if you want to go to the next slide, that would be great. Okay, so this is an interesting picture to put on here, but I want you to look at this and to think of your business, um, to not think of it as a tap where, you know, one minute you turn on and you talk about your business and then you turn off and then you, you know, go about your, what you're doing. And then all of a sudden you turn back on and you talk a little bit and share with somebody and then you turn it off. You actually want to talk about your business as if it's a river and it's ever flowing and it's ever changing um, because there's always opportunities throughout the day to start conversations, to build relationships, to share the business, to ask a question, to give a sample, anything throughout the day. And sometimes when you're doing that, and we've talked about connecting with people and having different cotton balls going into the funnel, sometimes you're going to talk to a lot of people and build and you're going to be kind of like that speedboat going down. And sometimes, you know, you're, you're talking a little more to less people and things are going a little slowly and you're more like a kayak maybe going down this river. And then sometimes, you know, you've started a member or a promoter and then, you know, all of a sudden they've decided they've changed their mind and they've stopped using the product. And I kind of talk about uh, being a rowboat going along and you have a hole in it because each time that somebody maybe changes their mind uh, and stops using the product, th then you need to find more people, right? You have to fill that hole uh, in your business uh, each month as well. So, uh, so my point is, as we go through this, the day has unlimited possibilities. And so make it intentional. Intentional days create a life of purpose. You want to think about in the morning what you want to do for your business. Or some people even think about the night before, you know, my three things that I want to do the next day. And then in the morning, you're going to review that again. Before you head out, you want to be intentional for sure. And some people are really, really good at just wandering through the day and chatting with people and sharing. And if that works for you, fabulous. And if you have members that are, are joining your team or promoters that are joining your team, and it's just from you know who you're in contact throughout the day, then fabulous. Um, for me, I'm good at talking people with, with people, but if I'm not intentional about asking them a question to see if they have a need or offering them um, you know, a way out of their 
uh, if I find a need that they're short some money this month, offering them a way to do something. I'm kind of like in that last picture, going around the island. <laughs> You know, I'm talking to a lot of people, but I'm not really moving forward because I'm not being intentional. Okay. So one of the really neat things, this is a, a book that I've looked at is called The 12 Week Year by Brian Morgan. And I'm going to go through three different scenarios of ways to look at your day and you can figure out what works best for you. But I just wanted to read from this book here because he actually, he's going to give it different names than what I'm going to be talking about and sharing, but he talks about having a strategic block. A strategic block in this, in his way is a three hour block of uninterrupted time where you, there's no phone calls. You don't accept phone calls. You might be making them, but you don't accept them. There's no emails. There's no visitors. There's no anything. You are just focusing all of your energy on your pre-planned tasks for money making activities. Okay, so that's one thing that he talks about is strategic blocks. The second thing that he talks about is buffer blocks. And those are designed to deal with any unplanned or low value activities, like email and voicemail or anything unpacking your boxes of, of deliveries that came. Um, so th that's what he kind of does as a secondary with buffer blocks. And the third thing that he talks about is breakout blocks. And this is some free time because often as I go through what I'm going to in the time management and looking at your day, sometimes as entrepreneurs, we can get caught up and just working and working and working longer and longer and harder because we just want to build this business and we just want to grow. But it stop, starts to kill our energy and it starts to kill our enthusiasm. So we want to make sure, and I'm going to ask you this question and see if, if this is how you are. Are you busy or are you efficient? Are you busy or are you productive? So you can be busy all day doing lots of things, but if you're not being productive and moving forward with, with um, you know, talking with people or doing uh, income um, producing activities, then you're going, once again, you're going around in that circle again. So let's look at a couple of options that we can look at. And this one actually has gone over um, in other presentations, but this is more, you know, if you're working full time or you're, um, you know, volunteering throughout the day, or you have certain commitments where you need to be able to do your business just that little bits of time throughout the day. So she talks about 11, 11, 11, which is your pr proven 33 for your business. And once again, you are intentionally chatting to a new person, intentionally following up with a lead, doing a three-way call, registering a new member, registering a new promoter, calling a member about a new product or an event or an activity, but you're doing income producing activities during those 11 minutes. So it's not a time that you are checking emails or um, you know, answering a call from a friend, um, unless it's about business and it's a lead you know, that you're following up with. You wanna make sure that at that time that you're doing the 11 minutes, you are focused on doing things um, during your day that will move your business forward. And so um, I have put them into an actual schedule. And so if you want to flip to the next slide there, Nada. So this is kind of what it would look like. So I always put at the beginning a morning routine. It's a great way to start your day. You want to start with gratitude. You want to have your shakes and vitamins. And then you want to think about intentionally what you want to do throughout the day. So I've also put in there, Elsie is the leadership call. Um, BT is our business training. And then our Discover Mores, HTR, our, our health talks, and CT is the Canadian teams. So those are things that are not part of your 11, 11, 11. All right. So what you want to do is maybe you are working all day. So at lunchtime, that's where you're getting 11 minutes. 
And then maybe your next time is, you know what, you just got home and you're going to do 11 quick minutes before you start getting ready for dinner. And then maybe at night you get the kids to bed and you've got another 11 minutes before you can um, do some other things around the house and then get into your night routine. So I've put in different times, maybe first thing, you know, in the morning, just after uh, the gym, you're at the gym and you're chatting with different people. And so that's your 11 minutes. So I put it so that you have your 11, 11, 11, three times throughout the day, and they are movable or flexible. I even had on, on Sunday, you know, when people go to church, you might be chatting afterwards. So you might do all 11, like all three 11s at that time, you know, because you're, you're chatting with a whole bunch of people and it might not be, you know, asking if they want to try something. It might just be building relationships at that time, right? So, and then at the end of the day, your 25 affirmations, think about the three things that you want to do the next day, and then your journaling, but actually schedule them in. And hopefully by doing that 11, 11, 11, it gives you flexibility and it gives you time to fit them in around your busy schedule. Okay. The next way to do it is to actually block them together. And so this is called your power hour. And sometimes you might do a power half hour twice a day, or sometimes you might do the whole hour. And once again, it's exactly the same slide and the same things that we talk about in our daily method of operations, um, but we're doing them intentionally during that time so that we are focused on our business and, and chatting with people and following up. Um, and this doesn't have to be specifically at your home. You're sitting at your desk calling. You could be out and about. You could be, um, you know, at the grocery store and then and then you have to do this errand and you talk to somebody else there and then you're picking up this at the dry cleaners and you're chatting there. So it can be any time in that power hour as long as you're spending that time. And maybe if you're doing errands, it might be a half hour. But um, you're just really intentional and focused on doing things. So if we put that into our day, this is what it might look like. So the pH now is your power hour. So you sit down Monday night and you do an hour and just chat with people and do your follow ups. Maybe uh, another time, you know, it's guess in the what, morning guess what we do. or I it's like lunch. Oh, we're just going to mute. One there. Thanks. Thanks, Nada, for taking care of that. Um, but but then I even like went back to the Sunday and did 11, 11, 11, because it might not work. If you're with family on Sundays, um, you know, you're going to church or you're doing activities, it might not work to sit down and do an hour or you decide, you know what, you want Sunday off because, um, you, you know, you, you don't want to work on Sundays, but you can still build relationships by chatting with people. So it just might look differently that day. So just take some time and I want you actually, while I'm going through this, actually look at your day and, and decide for you which, which technique, which schedule works for you. And, and the, the other thing that I really like is a couple of months, it might be one way. And then all of a sudden something happens in your life to kind of turn things upside down and you need to switch over to the 11, 11, 11. But the important thing is to do something each day to be consistent and to do something each day to be intentional. Um, the other thing I wanted to, to talk about, I actually on this one in the nightly routine wrote down uh, 25 affirmations, three to do's, and the skincare. I was listening to uh, the business video by Ashley and uh, number 20 is know the products. And she said, you know, she really wasn't a skincare person, but now after using them, it's probably one of her favorites. And that really connected with me because I can see that Nat is laughing already because skincare just really wasn't my thing. And so I literally had to schedule it in to remember to do it because I would just kind of wash my face quickly and, and head off the bed, do my teeth, everything that I needed at night. 
But now it's like, oh no, like I just love the way that my skin feels. So I actually want to schedule that in so that it becomes a habit for me um, because it wasn't a habit before. So let's go to the next one then. And this is uh, the key is not to prioritize your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. Okay, so we want to make sure that what you're doing throughout the day are the things that you want to do in your life. And that's why it's important uh, to look at management because, you know, it's wonderful if you go out and you have a free day and if you go kayaking like I do for, for a half a day, well, fabulous, because I love to do that and I get re-energized and I come back and then I can actually look at what I want to do to build my business and how I've scheduled my days. So the next one that's really um, the way that I look at it, and I and I think it's more because uh, my background is in teaching. And so for 32 years, I followed a schedule with my students. And so when I came, when I retired uh, a few years ago, I kind of got a little lost because I was so used to following that structure. And so I decided to actually go back and look at more of a structure and time management. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed by the next slide, but if we look at it, this is putting in what you might need now and look at the white spaces because that's flex time. That's time that you can move things around, right? So we're not booking up the whole day. We need some freedom to kind of have that energy and, and enthusiasm. So in the morning when I get up, I know that I'm, I'm feeding the dog, I'm getting them ready so the dog can leave, a boss can leave with my husband. And then I do my gratitude and then I have my shaken vitamins and I do my affirmations and I'll do a social media post. So I know that that's happening in the morning because then at nine o'clock, that red spot, and I put it in red because these are things that need to happen, okay? They are specific things that are my priorities. So I have a walking group on Monday. I have, um, after the leadership call, I have uh, Joan, who I work with uh, once a week um, as a partner, and then I have the leadership call, and then I go and do my workout. Okay, and then I have my power hours too, and then I'll do my email um, later on at night. So those two red ones are my workouts on Tuesday, it's my yoga, on Wednesday, it's my, my choir, and then I go and spend time with my mom. So that's why I have those red ones in, because they are things that are not changeable. So if you are working, you're going to have a lot of red because you're working in the morning and the afternoon. So you'll have to then move around or if you're part time. So schedule that in first. And then you're going to schedule in things like um, all of the green there that has to do with your business. And then you can slot where your power hours are. I prefer to do power hours. I could still do 11, 11, 11 if that suited me on some days. Um, and then um, the light green ones are, that's actually um, uh, a show that, that a booth at a show, a vendor show. And I have that a light color because sometimes I have it on a Sunday and sometimes I don't. So that's kind of movable, right? And I had to discover more because sometimes I'll jump on the eight o'clock one or sometimes I'm jumping on the nine o'clock. Sometimes I'm jumping on both, you know, depending on how my week went. And the yellow ones with which is my social media planning and answering emails or texts, those are movable because I want flexibility in my day. There's enough things there that are kind of uh, priorities and time sensitive. So I want some things that I can move around because that's the wonderful thing about this business and being able to do it from home and being able to do it from your phone is you want to be able to put in, oh, my son has a, a soccer game this afternoon. I want to go watch it. So therefore I can shift a few things and have my my power hours or my half hour or my 11, 11, 11 at different times. So um, that's kind of how I set mine up and, and it allows me to really stay intentional and stay focused on, on what I'd like to do. So then moving forward, we're just gonna show a video because those 
those schedules and what you do are absolutely amazing for organizing your time and helping you be intentional. But if you don't show action with it, then you've just organized yourself. And sometimes, you know, it might be if you're working part time, it might be a little bit of action. But sometimes if you really say, hey, do you know what, I want to see what this business can do for me. And I really want to impact a lot of lives and go out and make a difference in the world. And I want massive action. Then those those schedules it will only help you that with your time management. So we're just going to listen to Stephen because I listened to this one as one of the uh, the business videos as well, and I just thought it was so perfect for here. Let's talk about one of the single most important traits or factors of success in your neo life business. Whether you're launching your business or maybe even if you've been in business for years, and that trait, that quality is massive action. You see, I heard it said early on in my journey in this industry that massive action solves all problems when you're building and growing and scaling a Neolife business. And that knowledge without action is powerless, but knowledge with action is powerful. So if you're wanting to take your business to the next level, if you're wanting to increase and elevate your impact in people's lives, if you're wanting to increase and elevate the 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 volume in your business if you're trying to reach your purpose the single most important thing that you can do from this day moving forward is decide that you're going to start taking massive action in your business and what is action in our business it is simply connecting with and talking to people uh that is what our business is all about it's who can we talk to now and who can we talk to next? So you may have heard it said that you wanna to talk to two people a day as you're trying to grow and scale your Neolife business. But if we're gonna take massive action, what if starting today, we start talking to 10 people a day or 15 people a day? So I wanna encourage you to go to the next level. It's all about taking massive action in your business when it comes to talking to people. I just really love that because it is about action. And I hope as you went through, you made a few jot notes and, and drew a few charts as to how you want to schedule uh, your day for your time management. So I think now um, let's talk about one of the single <laughs> yeah, most important. Okay. I think now we'll, we'll stop the recording and uh, answer any questions specifically about time management. And, and then we can branch off once all of those questions have been answered.